Hello, I am Sandy Padilla and welcome to my YouTube channel. And by the way, no, thank you very much sa lahat po nang nag-subscribe. So far, meron na po tayong more than 500 subscribers. So I hope uh, magwa 1,000 mo po tayo para mahit na po natin ang ating goal. Thank you very much sa lahat ng nag-subscribe at sa mga magsusubscribe pa. And right now, here's a message from our area pastor, Pastora Mia Viray, entitled, Home Alone with God. Good evening, students of Destiny Kalasyao and Alaminos. I'm so happy to be given the chance to share the Word of God to you once again. And before I start with my with the message for tonight, um, gusto ko lang kayong kumustahin, no? Ang saya-saya ang haba ng bakasyon nyo. No? Super, I hope, well-rested kayo. Okay, so uh, before we proceed, I'd like you to, I, I'd like to, for us to have some reflection time, okay? I'm gonna show you two pictures. And while looking at looking at the picture, assess mo saang picture ka pinaka nakaka-relate, okay? Um, hindi makakonek ngayon yung cellphone ko sa TV, so ipapa-edit ko na lang, no? ipa-flash na lang dito sa, sa screen. So the first picture is this one. Okay, sino dito ang nakarelate? Ah, ganyan yung buhay ko ngayon, ngayong quarantine season. Okay, how about the second picture? <laughs> okay, sinong nakarelate doon sa second picture? No? Uh, okay, may mga iba nagre-react. No? Ako, I would always admit this during our accountability group that um, this quarantine... This is the season of my life when, where, uh, parang, I am most tired physically. Sobrang nakakapagod. Imagine, I am working from home kahit lockdown. And I am, I'm working from home uh, with two kids around who constantly need my attention. Lagi silang nakabuntot, maya maya, mommy, mommy, mommy. Lagi akong hinahanap, no? And also, I also have my husband who also needs my attention, my care. So imagine nyo na lang so many demands coming from so many directions. So although I enjoy being with them, although it's really a blessing that I am at home, syempre the biggest blessing talaga hindi ko to ipagpapalit is my time with my family, no? Don't get me wrong. But I'll admit that I am very tired. It's been physically tiring to not have rest after your work, no? And then during the night, ikaw pa rin... Siyempre, ikaw pa rin ang magpapatulog ng anak mo, ikaw din ang magpapadede. So, you don't really get enough rest or sleep. So, so I'm just telling you, just so you know, that I can relate to the second picture. Sino dito sa inyo nakarelate dun sa second picture, no? So, dyante ka pa lang, wala ka pang kids, pero feeling mo, super stress out ka na, burn out ka na. When supposedly, no, during this lockdown, supposedly, marami kang time to rest. So, ano kayang nangyari? Bakit kaya, instead na yung life mo would look like the picture, the first picture, why does it look like the second picture where you are burned out, you are stressed out, you are so tired and drained? Okay. And so, before I proceed with my topic, now I've been asking the Lord, um, God, what does the SOD need to hear during this quarantine season? So I've been asking God, I, I've, I've thought of a lot of topics, but still nothing really resonates in my heart except for this one word, okay? So tonight, I'll be sharing with you a topic that is aligned with our series, Home Sweet Home. Are you ready? So before I start, let's pray. Father God, thank you God for the opportunity to be connected online to be connected to you despite being distanced lord thank you for the opportunity to to listen to your word to be changed by your word father god remove every distraction lord remove every anxiety remove every worry father i pray that your word will be planted in our hearts lord god that it will, it will bear fruit in our lives oh god thank you for this time may we Really receive your word and, and may it change, Lord God, our lives, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. My topic for this 
uh, evening is entitled Home Alone with God. Okay, so that word alone also has a synonym word and that is the word solitude. Okay, solitude. Okay, it's different from loneliness. What is the difference? No, loneliness is that a uh, state of being where it's it's a negative thing. No, you are you you are lonely because you are bitter. You are sad. But being in solitude is a positive thing. Okay, it's being alone. But because of your being alone, no, you 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 are you become healthier. You become happier because you are rested. So that is solitude. No, solitude is being in the state of um, being alone, being isolated. No, it's different from loneliness. And as I was um, asking God. What is that message you want for the SOD to hear? It is this one word, solitude. Uh, siguro, for some of you, hindi na kayo familiar dito, no? I realize that our generation is the most distracted generation of all time. Um, before, they don't have gadgets. Before, they talk with people. Now, we are so distracted with a lot of things, pulling us from uh, all over the place. Ano ba yung mga nag, um, nag distract sa atin? Gadget, no? So many options of drama, movie to choose from, um, friends, social media, no? There are so many things. And not only gadget and technology, but even our responsibilities, no? As, as, as students, our responsibilities at home. There are so many things that try to take away our attention. No? And so, we, we don't know it, but probably we have lost the art of spending time, really spending time with God. And that's why for, for this message, I want to emphasize that now that we are in quarantine, this will show our heart for God. This will reveal our heart for God. Totoo bang main thing natin ng Lord? Totoo bang mahal natin ng Lord? And it will show in the quality of time that we spend with, with Him. So the focus of our topic this uh, evening is about solitude. It's being alone with God. Okay? So why do we need solitude? No, as I said, uh, number one is because we are constantly stimulated. We are constantly entertained. Okay? Sino dito gusto, gusto ng entertainment? When, when we are so entertained, no, we, we just want to have more and more. You can't get enough. And that's the reason why, di ba? Pag nanood ka ng K-drama, nanood ka ng all kinds of drama, you just want more, want more. You, you keep wanting more. Kulang na lang tapusin mo yung 16 episodes in one sitting. Kasi nga, we are entertained. And because we are entertained, we keep wanting it, more of it. No? So, um, this generation, we are constantly stimulated, lacking ang taas ng energy natin. And that's why we need solitude because if we don't spend time alone, then it will drain us. Napansin nyo, those people who have spent so much time on their gadgets, who have not spent some time with people around them, or have not spent time with God, they are the most irritable people you will know. When you talk to them, and they get distracted from what they're focusing on, ano no sila, and then you distract them, they get irritated. They easily get angry. Why? Because you disrupt them from their entertainment. Okay? That's why you need, we need to constantly form the habit of spending time alone because it is for our well-being and health. It is based on the study, no, majority... Uh, based on the study, yung mga sobrang spend ng time sa gadget, sa computer, no? There are also ones that are most prone to depression and all kinds of, um, alam mo yon yung, yung uh, loneliness, sadness, because they are no longer healthy socially. Okay, so we need to be uh, spending time alone, having some time of rest. Okay, another thing why we need solitude is that most important thing, Jesus himself modeled solitude. If you've been reading your Bible, makikita mo how the Lord, how Jesus would, would withdraw himself from the crowd and would find a way to get out of the crowd and just spend time with the Father God. Okay, Pag, uh, let me read to you some verses. No? In Mark 6, 30-32, in the Passion Translation, it says, 
the apostles returned from their mission and gathered around Jesus and told him everything that they had done and thought. No, ah, uh, syempre yung mga disciples, they, they are, uh, they go out on a mission. Dami nilang ginagawa, yung mga ginagawa din ni Jesus, ginagawa din nila, no? And so, during that time, in, in verse 31, there was such a swirl of activity around Jesus with so many people coming and going. Kasi nga, sikat si Jesus, di ba? Ang dami niya pinaperform na miracles. People are really coming to Jesus. And then, sabi ni Jesus sa disciples niya. So, Jesus said to his disciples, Come, let's take a break and find a secluded place where you can rest a while. Even Jesus... Ni-recognize niya. Ni-recognize niya na after everything that you do, you need some time of rest. Sabi doon, find a secluded place. Find a place that is away from the crowd and rest for a while. They slipped away and left by sailboat for a deserted spot. Another version in um, Mark 6.30 verse 2 uh, version, He said to them, come with me privately. To an isolated place and rest a while. Ito, very specific. Jesus is asking, spend some time with me. Come with me privately. Isolate yourself from the crowd and come with me and rest for a while. You know what? Probably the, the, the Lord is telling you today to just rest for a while. There are so many sources of activity happening around you, not even the things that God is telling you to do. Probably, ano yung mga source of activity na yun? Madaming pinapagawa sa bahay ng nanay at tatay. Maraming, for those that are uh, doing online class, no? Ang daming mga requirements. Or for some of you, you're just plain uh, doing your mobile gaming, watching your favorite dramas, no? So many activities. But God is reminding you, that it is very important to rest and find a place with Him. There's nothing wrong with finding pleasure, no? We, we are meant to, to enjoy. But when we spend so much time doing those pleasures but not really minding our emotional, our spiritual being, then we get drained. Jesus understood we needed some time of rest. In the voice translation, I like this. Now the twelve returned from their travels and told him what they had done, whom they had seen, and how they had spread the news of God's kingdom. Jesus said to the disciples, Let us go out into the wilderness for a while and rest ourselves. The crowds gathered as always, and Jesus and the twelve couldn't eat because so many people came and went. Tumating ka na ba sa point na sa sobrang dami mong ginagawa, hindi ka na nakakain? Hindi ka na nakaligo. <laughs> Ako no, nakikita ko yung mga post um, na mga meme, gano'n, na pag-quarantine. Ano na yung mga natry mo? Naggupit ng bangs. Ako natry ko yun. <laughs> Di ba? Natry na hindi maligo. Natry na hindi kumain. Ako, tinatawanan ko at first. Kasi ako talaga, I, I, I cannot, parang hindi ko kaya na hindi maligo. But then, out of business at work, one time, no? I think not only one time. <laughs> sige, sige, hindi ko nabibilangin. But there are so many times that I, I, I could count them in my hands. No? <laughs> Napaka-defensive. But what I'm trying to say is because of tiredness, um, alam mo yun, yung maliligo ka na sana ng gabi, pero sobrang pagod, nakatulog ka na, narealize mo umaga na. No? Super tired. Na, you see, you don't have time to eat, you don't have time to sleep. Anong reason? Ba't di ka makakain? Or hindi ka makatulog? Is it for, for a good cause? Or just for fun or pleasure? No? But this is one thing that this verse is telling us. No? In verse 32, They could get no peace until they boarded the boat and sailed toward a deserted place. Hindi daw sila makakuha, maka-receive ng peace hanggat hindi sila makaalis, maka, maka get away from the crowd. You see, if you feel like today, you don't have peace in your heart. You feel like wala ka naman talagang na-accomplish na productive during this lockdown as a student. But if you feel like sobrang pagod ka, if you feel like there is no peace in your heart, maybe this is the problem. Maybe you have not really spending some time alone with God. Okay? 
another another uh, verse that that shows how Jesus loves to be in solitude. No, in Mark one verse thirty five, the Voice translation. Early in the morning, Jesus got up, left the house while it was still dark outside, and went to a deserted place to pray. Grabe, gagawa talaga ng paraan si Jesus kung kailangan gumising siya ng maaga para lang makapag-spend ng time with God the Father, He would do it. Isa-sacrifice na yung tulog niya para lang makapag-spend time siya sa Lord. Kaya mo bang isacrifice yung tulog mo so that you could spend some time with the Lord? Or mas kakayanin mong magpuyat para makapanood ng favorite mong movie or drama? Or makapaglaro ng games? or makipagtsikahan, makipagchat rather than spending time with God, no? These are questions for you to reflect on. For you to assess where are you with your relationship with God? Where are you in terms of your quiet time with the Lord? No. Have you ever tried waking up on the wrong side of the bed? Yung pagising mo wala namang umaway sa iyo, wala namang nainis sa iyo, pero you're so grumpy, you're so irritable, parang inis ka sa lahat ng nakikita mo sa bahay. No, nakakalat dito, nakakalat dyan, mas lumala yung inis mo. Have you ever uh, experienced that? I think all of us, ano, parang na-experience na natin yun, no? But, have you also tried this? Yung, ang pag-iisip mo is, okay, magkukayot time na ako para mabago na ng Lord ang puso ko. And, and so, you read the Bible, and then you pray, and then after that, gulit ka pa rin. After that, parang hindi ka nag-quiet time. After that, parang ang bigat-bigat pa rin ang loob mo. Inis na inis ka pa rin sa mga tao. Hindi nagbago yung puso mo. Do you know why? Because you skip one very important practice. Discipline. And that is solitude. That is meditation. No? Sometimes, we are so used to spending our time with the Lord by just reading the Word of God, reading His Word, and then after that, we skip to prayer. We read it with our minds. We try to understand. That is a very important part of reading the Word of God. Of course, we need to have knowledge, wisdom, to understand the Word of God. Pero how many of you have really allowed the Word of God to not only work in your mind, but to work, you know, do its work in your heart? Nangyayari yun when you meditate the Word of God. Rather than just reading, trying to understand, and then pray. Okay, it's very important that we really practice solitude for us for, for to allow God to work in our hearts. So, na-realize mo yung mga time na nabago ka talaga ng word ng Lord ay yung mga time na nung nag-quiet time ka sa Lord after you read His word, you spend some time with Him, just listening to Him, resting, resting in His presence, and allowing Him to change your heart. That is what solitude is. So now let's talk about the importance of solitude. Let me read to you uh, one very famous verse. In Psalm 27, 4, it says, One thing I have asked from the Lord that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord. It talks about what we see. And to meditate in his temple, to to uh, talks about what we hear, what we let into our hearts. No, it is a question of no. You in first line, one thing. What is your one thing? No, or to rephrase it, what is that one thing you cannot live without? What if I'm gonna ask you that question? What is that one thing you cannot live without? That is your one thing, of course. You know, no. So, what will be your answer? No, we would often hear this: I cannot live without my cell phone. I cannot live without my boyfriend. <laughs> I cannot live without uh, kachat. Dapat gabi gabi dapat may kausap ko hindi ko kaya wala ng kausap. No, I cannot live without um my pangkilay. <laughs> okay. What about we change this to? I cannot live without reading the Word of God throughout my day without having to spend time with God in my day. I hope that we will all get to that point where our one thing is the Lord, seeking Him. Like all else fails, all else 
do not matter matter anymore if we don't seek God in our lives kapag hindi na tayo nagsispend time and you will know this because once you have a relationship with God na realize mo no matter how much you fill your heart with so many pleasures gawin mo lahat ng feeling mo makakapagpasaya sa iyo masaya ka sa mga kaibigan mo masaya kang kachat sila masaya kang nagti-TikTok kayo masaya kang naglalaro kayo no i ask one uh, kabataan, babae siya kasi mal- madalas siya mag-post ng Mobile Legends. So I just, I, I wondered what is with Mobile Legends that really parang catch the attention of this uh, young, young talaga, no? I think even ma- yung mga old ones, they play Mobile Legends. But I really ask what keeps them hooked dun sa game. And then, one thing na sinabi niya is that um, super na-entertain daw talaga siya nawawala yung problema niya. No matter how you feel, fill your life or your heart with so many entertainment, you know, if you're a Christian and you have a relationship with God, but you don't spend time with Him, you will always end up feeling empty. You feel lost. You feel like, bakit walang direction yung buhay ko? Ba't ganun? Ba't anong nangyari ngayong quarantine? No, instead that, I, I will get better. I will have probably... Alam mo yun, mas lumago ako sa relationship ko sa Lord. Bakit kaya parang hindi yun ang nangyari? Mas napariwara ako, no? May mga, may mga disciples ako that during this lockdown talagang hindi na nagparamdam, nawala sila. When supposedly, they, are, they should be available kasi wala namang class, no? Yung dating mga, mga reasons nila na busy ako sa school, ang daming projects. Nung quarantine, no? Wala naman ng... Um, Wala naman ng school works, pero still, they don't have time for God. It's because they really do not spend time with God anymore. So, and that's the reason why parang namawalan sila ng direksyon, naging empty sila. And na- ngayon, nahiya na silang bumalik sa church. No, ma- church, no matter what I uh, no matter how I tell them uh, that they're, they're welcome, na nahiya sila. Because they have allowed themselves to be overwhelmed by the pleasures of the world. And no longer, alam mo yun, they, they no longer uh, spend time with the Lord, reconnect with the Lord. So, my message, no, I'm, I'm gonna end with these three points. I'm gonna end with these three points. What is the importance of practicing solitude? Okay, napakahalaga. If we miss solitude, if we miss practicing this in our, in our Christian walk, then we will end up burned out. We will end up like a Christian with so many knowledge on his head, but it's not changed inside. No? So, let me give you point number one. Point number one is, when we spend time alone with God, we give Him space to speak to us. Okay? Our relationship with God, like in all communication, ha, lahat ng communication requires a lahat ng relationship, it requires communication. Na hindi pa ako nakakita ng relationship na isa lang lagi ang nagsasalita. In the same way, although we do not see God, our communi- communication with God should be two-way. Okay? We are not only the talkers. God also talks. God also speaks. He is a speaking God. In case you have already forgotten na nagsasalita din ang Lord. Okay? We speak. God also speaks. No? He does not only listen. He also talks. No? Uh, uh, do not have the wrong ano, idea. No? God loves to listen to us. No? When we pray, God is excited to hear us. God is inclining His ear to us. But also, God also desires that when after we talk, we also spend some time to listen to Him. Why? Because listening is a form of loving. Diba? Sino dito have been in a relationship, kahit so di ka pa, or kahit na hindi romantic relationship, in all forms of relationship, uh, ikaw sa nani mo, ikaw sa tatay mo, sa kapatid, and then you are talking, but suddenly, that person talks, tapos hindi nag-respond sa'yo, yun sa sinabi mo, anong mararamdaman mo, yung hindi nakinig yung kausap mo. You don't feel love. You feel disrespected, right? So, in the same way, God feels feels that way. Now, when, when we don't listen to Him, we, we, we are not able to show our love for Him. So, to, for us to show our love to God, we need to listen to Him. It's a form of loving. Listening is loving. It's also a form of showing our humility. Humility to God na 
when we listen, it's like saying, God, um, ito yung mga needs ko, pero hindi ako nagmamagaling. Nililay down ko lahat sa'yo. I surrender to you everything. But, Lord, be the one to take control. I'm gonna listen to you. Whatever you say, I'm gonna surrender. I'm gonna obey. When we take time to listen to God, it's a sign of humility. No? Have you ever come to that point when um, parang feeling mo hindi nakikinig sa'yo si Lord? Or parang feeling mo hindi ka kinakausap ng Lord? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, guilty. We're all, I think, have experienced, have, we have all experienced that, I think. Wala tayo dumaan sa point na feeling natin parang hindi nakikinig ang Lord or parang hindi tayo kinakausap, no? One reason could be because of sin. But another reason could be because we just keep on talking. <laughs> okay, we just keep on talking. Kaya hindi natin naririnig yung uh, sinasabi ng Lord. We don't give Him space we don't give Him an air time to speak to us. Lagi na lang puro tayo, Lord, kailangan ko nito. Lord, kailangan ko to. Lord, tulungan mo ako. Pero sabi ng, kinakausap ka ng Lord, anong sagot sa mga problema mo? Paano ka niya matutulungan? Pero because you just keep on pleading, you just keep on, you know, asking God for your needs, but not really listening to Him, you end up feeling like God is not talking to you anymore. Maybe what you need to do right now is to just, Keep your mouth shut and listen to God. Alam ko, no, for, for those of you na have been a long time Christian, I know that you've already experienced so many times when you have just spent some quiet time with the Lord. And then, that is the most fulfilling, that is the most satisfying feeling ever. Ako, I, I'd be very honest that um, kinento ko rin to sa accountability group namin so many times during this lockdown that I have really parang nag-breakdown ako. Parang every Monday yon Na-realize ko every Monday pag mag-work na ako tapos feeling ko wala na akong time sa family ko. I would cry. I would always cry. And then for the past weeks, no? For the past weeks, um, we have been really busy kasi nga we, we, we open our business and we initially planned na Online lang siya, yung milk tea shop namin. Kasi nga, lockdown pa. It's so expensive to rent a place. Yung una namin nakita, it's like five digits. And medyo risky, risky na mag-rent ang place that expensive for a time like this. But then when, when we were having a dry run, one week before our opening, sabi nung owner, because we franchise a milk tea shop, sabi niya, parang mahihirapan kayo if you don't have a physical store in Malasiki. Kasi dito manggagaling sa Kalasyo yung drinks, pagdating doon, lusaw na yung ice. So, it's not really the best way to do, to, per, to conduct that business. So, in, after he said that, naghanap talaga kami ng place. And then, who can open a store in in less than one week? Is it really possible? It's possible. Buti na lang meron kaming tatay dyan na magaling sa carpentry works. Talagang very bare yung place. Pero alam mo yon ngayon nag, nag-progress na, nag improve na yung, yung store namin. Although it's not yet fully furnished. But for the past days talaga, sobrang pagod kami. I was working after that we would go to, to malls trying to buy the things that we need. And... Let me tell you that for the past days, I, I have been really crying and I feel so tired talaga na parang, oh my gosh, Lord, nanay na ako, nag-work pa ako, asawa pa ako, tapos meron pa kaming business. Alam mo yun, it, it, parang it sounded like grumbling na, not seeing everything like a blessing. So because I was so tired, you know, when, when you are tired, have you come to a point na parang, Umabot ka na na sinabi mo, ayoko na, pagod na, pagod ako. Only to realize nung pag nakapag-rest ka na, why did I overreact? Why did I even say that word? Kasi nga, you are so tired. No? So, going back to my story, I, I felt so tired. And then, I've been visiting the shop daily. Nag-leave pa ako ng ilang days. And then, today, I, 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 I worked at home. And God reminded me, you are going to preach about solitude. Why are you not practicing it? I did, but for the past two weeks, parang, alam mo yun, everything is in a rush. I need to do everything in 24 hours. Uh, so many time, times I've slept at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., trying to finish all the things that I need to do at work, sa, sa business, and all the other uh, ministry stuff. 
And so I felt so tired. And then the Lord convicted me that, Mia, you're gonna preach about solitude. You need to be the first model. No? So, so to, uh, this morning, I, I, I rested in the presence of God. I really secluded myself from, from the kids, from the people around the house. I just locked myself in the door. And then I was just really crying to the Lord. And I realized I, I really miss that kind of time with the Lord for the past one, two weeks. Because I was always in a rush. <laughs> sobrang pagod na pagod ako. And I realized all I needed was to really spend some time, quiet time with the Lord. Maybe for some of you, no, you have not really, um, you have really forgotten how to spend some quiet and quality time with the Lord. That's why you are feeling tired. So let me remind you that it is really very important to practice meditation, to practice staying still in the presence of God. Okay, so next is, next point is uh, the importance of solitude is we give ourselves space to refocus. Now, it's very important in, in that verse, Psalm 27, 4, sabi niya, to behold the beauty of the Lord. You need to seclude yourself so that you can gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. When you are in the crowd, and dami mo nakikita. Like, ito sa bahay namin, dito sa sala, makalat sa, andun yung mga dede, andun yung mga toys ng mga kids. Especially when we are all so tired for the day, talagang iniiwan na lang namin talaga yung kalat and we fix the following day. So, when you are in a crowded place like this, it's so hard to get yourself focused. And so, that's why you need to find a solitary place, a secluded place, so that you could limit your vision na hindi mo nakikita yung clutter and all you can do is just focus on the beauty of the Lord no to to see his goodness in your life ang hirap nung tingnan pag ang kasama mo ibang tao ang hirap makita yon kapag ang daming kalat mong nakikita you need some time uh, alone time with God so that no ma realize mo that you are so blessed ma realize mo that God is faithful in your life it is the best time to fix your eyes on God to gaze upon his beauty and that's why you need to separate yourself kailangan mong mapag-isa sa sa presence ng Lord you need to dwell in the house of the Lord okay so when you are in a solitary place you get the chance to refocus your sight it is the best time to fix your eyes on Jesus. Because our daily activities, they try to take away our focus on God, right? If I'm taking care of the kids, I will not have time to read the Word of God. If I am doing my chores in the house, it will take away my focus on God. Solitude is when I spend time alone with God so that I can fix my eyes on Him. I can focus on His Word. If you feel right now na parang lost ka, if you feel na parang nawawalan ka na ng direction sa buhay, kahit quarantine na dapat talaga focus ka, you are all put together but you're not, then it means you have not really been spending some time alone with God. So if you want to get your focus back, then you just need some really, uh, some quiet and quality time with the Lord. Okay? So number three, last, the importance of solitude. Number three is we give ourselves a chance to gain new strength. Okay? So we're bound to get tired because we are humans. We are physical beings. So we're bound to get tired. It's bound to happen. Magpagod po talaga tayo. And that's why we need solitude. We need some time to get still and to be at rest, no? And also, the reason why we need to regain new strength is that for us to be prepared for the harder things in life. You read it right, you heard it right. Um, it's going to get harder. Students, yung mga pinagdadaanan nyo ngayon, wala pa yan. <laughs> okay? As, as you get older, as you take on more responsibilities in life, mas it will get more difficult and it's not a it's not a negative thing no it means you are ready for more responsibilities you are ready to take on more no but you have to prepare yourself and one way to really prepare yourself is every day you really have to spend some time alone so that you are going to get rested and be ready to work again Okay, kaya ka na burn out, kaya ka na stress out. It's because kulang ka na ng time alone with God, time alone with yourself, time alone to reflect and be uh, aware of what's going on around you. Okay, also no, 
um, when when we are tired, we, we speak a lot of things that we don't really mean. Okay, it's it's really important that we we stay, we we find solitude, find a solitary place, so that we avoid speaking no harsh words, rash words. No, for you to speak kinder, sweeter, and gent gentle words, you need to practice this. So many times, no, in all kinds of relationship, even with my husband, we have conflicts. Na realize ko, etong uh, lockdown na to, I think pinakamatagal na magkasama talaga kami because before lockdown, I travel back and forth Manila um, every week. Ngayon talagang ilang months na, more than three months, more than three months that we are here stuck with each other every day. It's it's really a blessing. I re I really would love to have this for the rest of my life. Na hindi na kami maghihiwalay for a short period of time. But also, it has opened a lot of opportunity for conflict because for one, babae ko, lalaki siya, talagang magkaka-conflict kasi magkaiba kami ng personality. Magkaiba kami bilang babae at lalaki, magkaiba kami ng temperament. So we're bound to have conflict, no? But um but, you know, dur during those times na nagkaka-conflict kami, there were times na talagang nakakapagsabi ako ng words that I, I regret later on. But there are also times when I responded to the heed of God in my heart na, Oh, anak, huwag kang magsasalita. Don't speak rash words. Spend time with me first. Pag mga ganong panahon, yun yung mga naiiwasan namin yung away namin mag yung mga conflict namin. Because we take some time separately and spend time with God to allow us to heal, to allow us to, alam mo yun, yung makapagpahinga sa presensya niya para hindi kami makapagsalita ng mga bagay na pagsisisihan namin later on. Okay? So for you to speak kinder words, better words, no? You have to spend time with the Lord. So check what are the words that are coming from your mouth. Ngayong quarantine ba mas naging masungit ka? Ngayong quarantine ba mas naging hindi maganda yung lumalabas sa bibig mo? Instead na mas naging mabait ka, nagiging suplada ka, irritable ka, then assess. It's time to change. No? So right now, let me, let me end with this. Um... Majority of us cannot really spend a long time with the Lord because we easily get bored. It's coming, it's uh, pointing back to that reason I said a while ago, now we are constantly stimulated. So by the time na parang magsistay still lang tayo, makikinig lang tayo, kakalma ka lang sa gilid and try to uh, dwell in the presence of God, nahihirapan tayo. Why? Because una, nabubored tayo. Feeling natin, ano ba ito? Nakaka Parang, alam mo yun, you, you get bored. Um, but one thing, one thing that you need to know is that when you feel bored, that is an indication that there is an empty space in your heart. Okay, how many of you, young, young people, okay, students, have come to a point when you feel that, you, when you feel like you are so bored, yung parang, ba't gano'n, ang bored na bored na akong dami ko nang gano'n, pero bored ako. Parang hindi mapuno-puno yung emptiness inside your heart. It's because only the Lord can really satisfy that empty space on your heart. And so, it is important for you to receive Christ, for you to spend time with Him. Because that boredom is something that only God can feel. No? So, let me ask you, Or let me challenge you, the next time that you feel bored, think about this. That is an indication that God is calling you to spend time with Him. Do not get your phone to entertain yourself. Do not switch on the TV to, to watch your favorite drama. But get your Bible. Read your Bible. Meditate on God's Word. And really... Really listen to him what he is saying to you. No, I I pray na hindi po masayang ang quarantine na to. No, I think this quarantine is a blessing. It exposed all the weaknesses of our character, the flaws of our character. But at the same time, it's also an opportunity for God to correct it. And daming lumabas na flaws sa akin ngayong quarantine. I realize ko I'm very impatient. Alam mo yun, madali akong maging irritable, lalo na pag stressful times. The Lord revealed to me that I'm that kind of person. 
but also because of this quarantine, the Lord worked in my heart through my daily quiet time. I would make sure that every day I would spend some time with the Lord. But I am not saying that every day I, was sp I have spent quality time and I have spent really meditating. There were times I missed it. But the, those were also times na parang, alam mo yun, pagod na pagod ako, drain na drain ako. So if you are like me, if you have come to a point where you also feel drained, maybe you are that person right now, yung parang walang direction yung buhay mo, yung parang lost na lost ka, parang na yung quarantine walang purpose yung buhay mo, then maybe you have missed this very important spiritual discipline, and that is to meditate His Word, to stay in the presence of God, to enjoy His presence, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. Let me remind you to go back to your first love, to Jesus. Remember the time when you are so in love with Him, when spending time with Him makes you really cry, makes you feel like you are so loved, makes you feel like it's the best thing ever in the whole wide world and that you cannot ask for anything else. You know, students, um, I hope na hindi nyo po sayangan, sayangin yung time nyo ngayong quarantine and maximize your time because once you go back to the normal, you're not gonna get this time back. So, we're gonna have some processing questions later on for you to reflect on. But that is my message for you tonight. That empty space in your heart is not meant to be filled with entertainment. It's meant to be filled by the presence of God. So if you're not happy right now, if you feel like you are not satisfied, if you feel that your soul is empty, then it means you have not been spending time, quality time with the Lord. But you are not, we are all not meant to be like that kind of person. We are meant to be enjoying God. We are meant to be, you know, spending time with Him, enjoying His presence every single day of our lives. Okay? So, sino dito after nito? You're gonna do your quiet time again. Amen? You're gonna do your quiet time again. You're gonna read your Bible again. You're gonna meditate on His Word again. Because I know that some of you have stopped reading your Bible and have only, you know, spend time on social media and your mobile games. Let's get back to reading the Word of God because sayang ang quarantine if we have not had any alone time with God. Okay, so let's pray. Father God, Lord, thank you God for, for reminding us that the most important thing in this life is you, that you are our main thing, O God, that apart from you, we are really empty, God. No matter how we fill our hearts with so much joy and entertainment, Lord, we will feel empty because you alone can satisfy our soul. You alone can really give us the joy that we need, Lord God. Lord, I pray that everyone who is listening tonight will have that con conviction and commitment, Lord God, to once again go back to you, go back to your presence, enjoy you once again. Like when they are reading your word when they they open their bible oh god they feel like they're being embraced by you lord god lord na miss ka na namin lord god na miss namin yung paggising namin nung umaga ikaw yung una naming naiisip bago kami matulog ikaw yung naiisip namin when we do our tasks throughout the day we always think about you that is how it is supposed to be lord god and not lord enjoying the 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 pleasurable things of this world oh god lord i pray that you would redirect the hearts of these young people lord stir up their hearts to desire for you more desire for you more that they will not allow this quarantine to not bear fruit in their heart, to not bear fruit in their lives. So God, I declare that this generation, these young people will love your word all the more, oh God. We love spending time with you, Lord God. Father, I pray that you would give us rest. You would give us, Lord, a sound mind, Lord God. You would give us, Lord, the stillness that we need, the peace that we need, Lord God, as we spend time with you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you for, for your word, Lord God, and we, we bless you and we honor you, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen.
Thank you very much for watching this video. No, don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell button. See ya!